A LaSalle County Road. Aside from the few passing vehicles, it's a fairly quiet area. That changed on Wednesday. Investigation teams from several area police agencies swarmed the area midday in the vicinity of an old truck wash, combing the area for remains of a body. This is after a serial <coughs> profile. Phil Chalmers interviewed convicted <coughs> killer Delmas Colvin. 61-year-old Colvin is currently serving a life sentence in an Ohio prison for seven years. In a recent podcast interview, Chalmers talked to Colvin about his crimes. Based out of, he was based out of Toledo, Ohio, but he did travel all over the country, especially down I-80 through Indiana, Illinois. And so he started confessing to murders. Uh, he claims he's in, he's in prison for seven, and he claims he killed 47 to 52. And my job now is to slowly gather confessions from him to try to bring closure to some of these victims' families. And one of those happened to be in LaSalle, Illinois. So we're, we're happy that uh, it's led to a search. After picking her up at a truck stop in LaSalle and taking the body to an abandoned truck wash near Peru. Investigators continue to comb the area for clues. Chalmers said in an exclusive interview this morning on WGLC Radio that he'll be working with the involved agencies and Colvin today to help recover the remains. We're going to keep uh, working with authorities today, and I'm talking to the serial <coughs> again on the phone today, just trying to narrow down where he dumped that body. I'm Charles Van Horn, reporting for Studstill Media News. All right, people, we are here for another episode of the Delmas and Daisy Show. And we got Delmas Colvin calling right now. Let's see what's going on in the Ohio prison system in the last couple weeks. Hello. Let's see what Delmas has to say. This is a prepaid debit call from... Hello. To accept this call, press zero. To re- this call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitor recording. Thank you for using GTL. All right, Delmas Colvin, what's going on? Just another um, great day here in LECI, this real shithole prison. <laughs> what's been happening there since we talked last? What kind of excitement have you had? What's been uh, What's been oh, going yeah, on? It was, um, and um, we talked yesterday. There was a six feet in front of me. And there was a glorified wrestling match, aka a fight. One guy scared, another one glad he was. It was it was really sick, it really pitiful. I, I yeah, I looked up and he slapped the one guy and next thing I know, it was down on the floor rolling around. Ain't no one throwing a punch. When both of them got their head down trying to punch each other when they on when they land on the floor. I'm like, look at these silly motherfuckers. Were they two really <laughs> were they two really big guys? No. Both of them together, two small little white guys. Both of them together ain't even two hundred and fifty pounds combined that's funny they just, they just, they wrote. this call is originating from an ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored and, and the and the funny part the funny part is i'm interviewing you for a class yesterday and you're talking like nothing's happening and i and i said why don't you tell me there was a fight going on <laughs> because it wasn't that happened man as soon as the rollers walk in the door man the guys they they lay face down on the ground and spread it their hands and feet did they really? <laughs> it's like one guy, looked, one guy, they couldn't wait for the, the man down button to get here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> they couldn't wait to stop. <laughs> and then we were talking one day, and you, you didn't call back, and I was like, I thought you might might have fell over and had a heart attack, but you said the power went out. <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. What oh, happens man. when the power People goes out realize, in prison? I mean, it usually it comes back on. It goes out, and it waits a while to come back on. Man, this time it didn't. And wow. They, um, you go martial law, lockdown, they lock everything down. Man, people don't realize this is an old place. Mm-hmm. It is old. It's old. It's right. This place is old. It's older than both. It's older than both of us put together. I, I, I said it was built in um, fifty something. Well, anyway. Okay. It's, it's just so so. Um, when the when the electricity goes out, does it get dark, or do you have emergency lighting? We we get that, but um, we get that. Usually, like I say, usually pops back on, but when it don't, man, it, it's straight to your cell because um, 
And you let him, he wants these guys running around in a wow. half lit prison. Wow. <laughs> See, that's, when that, that's when everything, you know, that's when everything jumps off. Mm-hmm. The thieves come out, the rapists come out, you know. A couple of booty holes might get stretched, but <laughs> wow, that's part of pri- that's part of prison life, you know. It's, mm. uh, it's see that, especially in an old place like this, and you got sales. So, but that's why they'll roll in and holler lockdown, and they, they get the locking door. Mm-hmm. You know, they 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 clear it out in a minute. So. How's the food been uh, last couple weeks? Oh, horrible! And it's it always been horrible. They gave us a they gave us a decent um. Black History Meal in March. It was it was man, it was the best meal we had here since. since so they gave you a Black day. History Month meal, and it was the best you've ever had. Yeah. What was it? What did it consist of? And they gave us um, two boneless chicken breasts from barbecue sauce, two real chicken breasts inside, cornbread, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, potato salad. It was it was great. People, I mean, you know, everybody was here to have her in a. French flag and YMCA. It was. It was did I was you? Did you? I thought it was a rumor. Did you somehow finagle some more food somehow? Did you trade? Did you work any deals with anybody? Oh, yes. What'd you do? Man, everybody want to give me. I trade them brownies for the collard greens because we don't get. Man, that's the first time I had collard greens. I love them. I've been eating them every since it was from the can, but they actually cook it right. Little, um, so you were trading brownies for you, you were trading trading how many brownies did you trade for collard greens? How did this work? You said you were oh man, were, I had round about man around about four or five brownies. Guys were giving out trading for the collard greens, you know, because most white guys here they ain't southern, they don't eat collard greens, mm-hmm. and we had cornbread to go with it too. Man, it was great. Guys still talking about that. They should do that at least once a month, but that was it's better than the Christmas meal, the wow. Thanksgiving meal, and the New Year's meal all combined. Thank all God for Black History and Month, huh? Actually cook. <laughs> How about any uh, mail or phone calls or complaints? Or tell us about some of that stuff. Oh my God! Speaking of complaints, the very first YouTube we did, some lady called the prison to complain about my language and my rhetoric about one very, very, very small topic. And man, and she was not pleased wondering why this guy's on the phone live from a prison. She called the captain's office. And they, as soon as it was over, they called me down there. And I explained to them, I said, man, I was just said I was on the phone talking about strangling women and whores. And I said, that was just one small topic. I said, the very first question they asked me was, about the commissary. What do I find the commissary? I said, man, Cap, that was one very small topic. I said, I said, well, they got this thing. I told them, I said, well, you don't like my language or my rhetoric. They got this invention. It's called the off switch. Mm-hmm. You reach up and turn it off. My life, my story, my problem. You know, and you got any complaints? Complain to me. Don't complain to the prison. Delmas Colvin, 536-490. Box 56, Lebanon, Ohio. Write me your complaint. I'll be more than happy to answer to it. But call the prison? They, they have nothing to do with this. this is, I'm only exercising my First Amendment right. Right to free speech and right to an open dialogue. And that's exactly what it was. It was an open dialogue. And the captain understood that. He just said, be careful. But one person, I couldn't fucking believe it. So what, um, how about any other mail or phone calls or emails? Have you gotten anything interesting? Oh, I, I, just, oh, I ain't going to mention this guy's name, but he says he knows you. He claimed he's a friend of you and Ron and how he got you all started. He's been bugging me, bugging me. He want to ask me something, but I cut him off at the... This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. Okay. He want to ask me something, but I cut him off the knee. Is there any ideas you got, any suggestions? I said, run it through Phil. That's my guy. He takes, he takes care of all that, and he's very envy of you. He want to bad mouth you, but I won't allow it. <laughs> Cause, you know, I, don't, I don't hold back. I won't allow it, you know. But um, he is so man. Envy of you and Ron. He's talking about, I could care less what he done. I could care less he started it. I don't care. I said, that's Phil. That's my guy. You know, he won't, he will not bad about you in front of me because, you know, I cuss his fucking ass out. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Any any crazy women? Any crazy 
letters? Oh, or... n- not yet, but it's still young. Like, <laughs> so I got, to, oh, I got one from a lady from um, Poland. I really? Just her back too. Yeah, wow. from Poland. I said, yes. <clears throat> and man, and she, she heard me and you on YouTube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I got a couple pen pals from the BK. Um, they they stay in touch all the time through um, email. You mean the, the you time. mean the the UK? Yes. Do you yes. do you know what country? Do you know what country they're from? Yes, one live in Cambridge, and the other one live in um, London. Paris. Oh wow! Okay. Two live in Paris. Yeah. Are you? One live in Paris. Other one live in Cambridge. Um. So yeah, they're they're from, the, they're, from the, they're from the they're from the they're from the UK. They probably saw our YouTube stuff. Yes, they did. Yes, yes, just like the one from Poland. And she said, "This one from Poland." She, uh, she said she listened to it all the time. That the same, the mm-hmm. YouTube station. She said that's, that's where she got the idea to get the courage up to, to write me. Good. I seen the letter. I said Poland. I'm like, oh my. Tell God. these guys. Um, we were talking about Daisy, and uh, Daisy will make her her appearance here in a minute. But tell us about. Um, you said <laughs> Daisy gets a couple eggs, scrambled eggs, every morning. What do you think about that? <laughs> Man, that dog eats better than we do. <laughs> she, she's living the dream, baby. Hell, we don't even get real eggs here unless they. You don't. We get boiled on boiled eggs. Yeah, you know, we get boiled eggs on Thursday, but scrambled eggs. It's on Sundays and Sundays and and what's the other goddamn day? Sundays. Yeah, it's on Sundays. You get scrambled eggs on Sunday. Yes, yeah, Sunday morning, but it's it's all water. They it comes pre made. They pour it in the um um in a pan and slide okay. it in the oven, and they chop that mystery meat up in it. And it's, it's horrible. Okay, it's, you know, it's horrible. Is it really it, mystery meat? It's really horrible. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. We call it mystery. It's the meat they put in everything. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it's turkey ham. They call it turkey ham. Okay. But every other day, every other week we get bologna. But um, hey, on Thursday we get boiling. Hey, Daisy had her first Happy Meal. Have you ever had a Happy Meal? Uh, yes. <laughs> man, I, I, my nephews have. I'm beyond Happy Meal. But like <laughs> I say, man, that dog eats better than me. <laughs> yeah. And you, you, uh, you really like, you were telling me when the electricity went out, they gave you guys a sack lunch or a sack dinner. Uh, and you like, a, you, like and you like peanut butter and jelly, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And why I, is that? I, I really do. We could always have. I mean, you know, always have. Even I, I kept some. I kept the goobers in my truck. That's the jar with the peanut butter and jelly in the same. Oh, jar. okay. Always have. And I, some things you always find in my truck: peanut butter and jelly, cereal, and milk. Always. I just, I just liked it. Yeah. I, from a child all the way up, I just always have. So you and keep I, a you, I you keep now. I, you keep a loaf of bread and you keep a jar of peanut butter and jelly in your truck. Yeah, I got um. I got a um um what what they call it um what's the word you got um I got to smuggle the bread back from the chow hogs they don't they don't sell none in commissary this prison oh. they sell peanut butter they sell jelly but they don't sell bread so I make deals with other guys because they drink coffee look here man I'm give you two shots of coffee you gonna bring me back bread for three days and they say okay. Wow. Because <laughs> you don't drink coffee so you use coffee as kind of negotiation. Yes, I do. I'm, uh, I'm a coffee broker. A lot of guys who run stores, like, say you need a bag of chips, he, he, so he charges you two for one or you put half of that. Mm-hmm. Chips cost $2, so you got to pay him back $3. I do the same with coffee. I give him two to give me back three. For a small bag, red bag is almost five, so I just, I just add a granola bar with it. And guys who want shots, the guys who I actually talk to, they bring me back bread. Okay. I got the peanut butter and jelly now. I actually brought from the commissary, but they don't sell no bread. <laughs> Go figure. So I have just they sell spam. Hey, they don't hey, sell bread. hey, Delmas! I got Daisy in my arms right now. Um, she just she just made her appearance here. She was sleeping. She she naps a lot. This she, call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. She naps a lot and she eats eggs every morning and she's doing pretty good. She's getting huge. She's a big girl. Yeah. She was at daycare. She, we, we take her to doggy daycare once a week, and she got in trouble. Uh-huh. She was so rambunctious that they had to put her in timeout. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> between, 
between the eggs and the Happy Meal. <laughs> she doesn't want to be up here. She These foolish humans think they can stop the almighty ruler of the doggos. For years we have planned our attack and finally, with our thirst for Happy Meals raging, we will activate Operation Leg Hum. Now feel my unlimited power, foolish human. ...to go explore my office, so... Um, yeah, she's doing really good. She's, um... She's picking up the signs and she's learning signals and we have this little, uh, you know, because when she's deaf, Delmas, you can't call her, right? So we have this right. little, this little collar we put on her. It's not a shock collar, but it's just a vibrating collar. Uh -huh. So when we click the button, it yeah. makes a little beep and it vibrates. Like, right, right. Well, dogs are smart. Yeah. People don't realize they are very intelligent creatures. Yeah. Very intelligent creatures. But she's doing really good. Um, we have a fence backyard. She loves the dogs on both sides. She loves to run. She loves to chase the ball. And um, yeah, they all of them like that. <laughs> they love to play with them. Yeah. I had a dog. I had a dog. That fucker chase that ball all day long. Wears me out. Yeah. They walk, he walk. He go grab his leash. And away we go. <laughs> well, we haven't. He has a. She hasn't learned yet to drop the ball. I'll throw it. She'll pick it up, and bring it back. But she hasn't quite learned. Like if, you, if she gives it to me, I throw it again. You know. Um, yeah, but she's doing good, and um, sounds like you have been doing okay. Have you? Um, trying to think what else we could we've talked about. Um, did you get your shot for COVID? Talk about that. Yeah, I get, yeah, I got my vaccine. I got the um, they got the Johnson. You have one <clears throat> minute remaining. Keep going. Keep got going. The Johnson, the Johnson one now, but I took the Moderna. It's in two, it's in two steps. I took I take the other shot next week. It made me sick. It swelled up my arm. I was fatigued. Mm -hmm. So I take the other part, part two shot next week. But they got the Johnson and Johnson here now. So it's just the one vaccination. Okay. And a, yeah, a lot of guys like, a lot of guys don't want to take it. Why? I do not know. Yeah. So listen, we're nearing the end here. Um, hopefully a visit, visitation will be open soon. So Wendy and I can come, come visit you and um, stay the safe. 15th, they say. We will talk soon. And, um, until next time, uh, keep it, keep it, keep a note of what's happening there. Yes, I will. All right. All right then. Have a great weekend. Get ready for March Madness. All right, man. Yeah, thank you. Take care, bud. So Daisy is doing well. She's gaining weight. She's getting big. She loves her food. She loves to sleep. She loves to go outside. And uh, she's just like any other dog. You would not know she's deaf unless you try to get her attention. And so we have this little, sh this, it's not a shock collar, it's a vibrating collar. And when you're trying to get her attention or you're trying to get her to look at you, you, you hit this button and it just vibrates and she looks. It kind of scares her a little bit. So we're, a lot of people use that to train deaf dogs. So um, once I have her attention... Uh, Wendy and I could we, we we have hand signals and stuff, but you know obviously you have to get her to look at you before you could tell her to sit or come or stay or whatever. So uh, training's coming along. Once we get her trained, uh, we'll put some videos out for you guys to see how she's doing. And um, she loves to hang, to snuggle and hang out with us. She's a great dog. Um, she's just about housebroken, even though she's still a puppy. It's very rare that. Um, she doesn't go outside. So she's doing well. And there's your update from an Ohio prison, Delmas Colvin, COVID coming to an end. Um, visitation starting to reopen in the prisons nationwide. And um, food's terrible. There's fights. There's sexual assault, just like you would think. And um, Delmas is 350 pounds, so not too pity, not too pity people mess with him. Um, Delmas is 350 pounds, so not too many people mess with him. So... Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Have a great day. Uh, comment any questions you want me to ask Delmas Colvin in the comments. Like, subscribe, and as always, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. we got many more dropping soon. Have a great day. Be safe out there.